Stroud W. Brewster, and uh, I've had some of you uh, write in and ask me, some of you uh, instructors at some schools, uh, community colleges, I believe, and things like that. And uh, Mr. Brewster, can you do something about the cutting and the prepping? So I'm gonna try to do that today for you. I've got everything set up. I've got a few things here on the table. And uh, first thing I'm gonna show you is about the cutting. And we'll talk a little bit about the uh, bottles, the pressure settings, the tips, what kind of tip. And basically, all tips kind of look like this. They can have bigger preheat holes, and the holes around the outside of the preheat, they're what heat that pipe up. The center hole, sometimes we call it the blow hole, and it, it's the one when you hit that trigger that actually cuts a curve, uh, a, a pathway around that pipe. It actually does the cutting. All of them are gonna have the preheat holes, they're gonna have the center hole, all the oxygen sunlanes. The size of the holes are bigger if the thickness you're cutting through is thicker. And they'll have different sizes. The old English word for a zero is alt. And so in pipe welding lingo or welding lingo, we'll talk about the size of our cutting tips. The smallest cutting tip to cut the thinnest plate or pipe is called a triple alt. And on the, on the uh, tip, it's gonna have three zeros. Then the next one that cuts a little thicker is a double alt, two zeros on this tip right here, I'll tell you the size. And then you're gonna have an alt, then you have number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. We're gonna be cutting some 3 8 uh, 375 wall, 3 8 thick, so I'm gonna use a number one. You can get by doing other things and other size tips but uh, this is what we're gonna use here. Before you start, you wanna clean your tips. And uh, they get dirty, they have what they call a venturi effect. You think when you're cutting that the gases are blowing against the pipe, that's what you hear. It's coming through the hose and blowing. But it actually creates a vacuum. So if you're too close to the pipe and all the little splatter, it'll eventually suck up into these holes and that'll make it uh, deform, the little fingers and the little blades it cut. So every so many cuts, every so many inches really, and you can tell if you look at it, I'm gonna show you in a minute what it should look like, you're gonna to need to clean these tips. And you're gonna clean them with these little like pipe cleaners, that's what it looks like. And you're gonna find the right size, you're gonna turn on the oxygen for the, for the preheat holes. While you're doing it, you don't wanna hold it like this, because if you do as you're, as you're filing, the shavings can go down in here and that'll mess up your valves. So you wanna turn the air on. Can you hear that? I'm being a little overboard. We're gonna find the appropriate tip to clean the preheats, and we're gonna go each one, clean it. Then we're gonna find the bigger one, it's gonna be the bigger one, to clean the center. And when we do that, we're gonna hit this air trigger for the center hole. And then when we get through, we're gonna try it out. See how good we did. Is it clean? tell if it's clean by the sound, you can tell by the look of it. So we want to turn about a quarter turn of uh, acetylene first. We're going to let the acetylene fill up in this cup of this uh, striker right here so it'll catch it. Then we're going to turn some oxygen on. And we're going to adjust it until the fingers are nice and straight. And you can see this little line in the middle, this little ghost. That's for the blowhole. And that's nice and straight, that means it's going to cut good. 